But the biggest mistake that smart, successful women make when they realize they're drinking too much is to think that it's their relationship with alcohol that needs to change. But don't you already know that if you had a good reason to not drink, you could probably drop this habit like it's hot? I'm Colleen, and I'm a drinking coach, helping high-achieving professional women reduce their alcohol consumption by 80%. You don't have to quit. Click the link in my bio and schedule a free consult. What happens with goal-oriented, performance-driven women is your brain gets disconnected from your body because your feelings don't fucking matter. Your brain is just always three steps ahead of you and everybody else. The reason you don't have an off switch for alcohol is you don't have an off switch for anything. Women especially are experts at denying our own needs because we think that we can't be okay if everybody around us is not okay. And the only way to function like that is to cut the cord on our own felt experience. We have to deny ourselves in order to continue to operate in a way that makes everybody around us happy. And while getting your shit done and accomplishing big things and taking care of people does feel good, you start thinking that it's not okay for you to relax until you get there. And that's the thinking habit that leads to the drinking habit. But the good news is that you can change your thinking habits. You just gotta stop believing everything that you think. And start paying attention to that precious body that the bully in your brain is just dragging through life. We're all raised to think that managing our behavior is the same thing as managing our emotions. The woman that can keep smiling and put up with the most shit wins. But staying cool under pressure and telling people what they want to hear all the time requires you to suppress your own emotions. And that's how the disconnect has happened. And let me tell you that what is on the other side of this has nothing to do with how much or how often you drink. It is being free of the anxiety and the negative self-talk. Your feelings, the ones you have been suppressing and avoiding, are actually your superpower. Sinking up your mind and body is how you unlock the energy that you need to follow your intuition and to do big things and to stop silencing yourself so that you can get where you want to go instead of just running laps around the cul-de-sac of stupidity. Everything that you want is on the other side of the feelings that you've been afraid to feel. When you plug your brain back into your body, life gets magical. There's nothing wrong with you or your life that can't be changed. This isn't a you problem, it's a skill deficit. All habits are just learned behavior. And when you learn how to think differently and process your feelings, you will drink like somebody who's got her shit together. Let me know if rewarding yourself with alcohol has become a substitute for feeling truly proud and confident about who you are and why you get up in the morning. If you're still watching, save this video and tap the heart so that I know you like the content. Hit the follow so I show up in your feed.